What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today I'd like to talk about uh, kind of the disappointment within the community of there not being a new class added into the game and kind of the reasons why I believe there was not a new class added in. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. I think a lot of people speculated this year there would be a new uh, class brought into the game when the Blackwood trailer was released. Uh, kind of, you know, they introduced the kind of the year of oblivion, that kind of idea. And the reason I think a lot of people thought this was because over the last several years, uh, Zenimax has tied in the yearly DLC to be kind of a, a, a intertwining story throughout the year, whether it be the two dungeon DLCs, the small story DLC, or the big story DLC that comes out within the year. You know, that's always kind of relatable now. It's always the, you know, it's the same thing over the last couple of years when it comes to how they're going to set up the content. And of course, we had a Warden, you know, that was released several years back. Then a couple of years after that, the Necromancer was released. And it's been like two years now since a new class was introduced. And I think a lot of people thought, well, now that they're doing the whole idea of, you know, like I said, just kind of intertwining that story through the whole year. If they're going to follow suit with that, they're probably going to follow suit with how they've done the classes. So we should get another class this year. And that was not the case. And I think some people within the community are fine with it. Some are not. Uh, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it. I kind of understand why they did it. I've heard a lot of the class reps. And if you don't know what a class rep is for the Elder Scrolls Online, it's pretty much just community members, YouTubers, streamers, that kind of thing, uh, big and small. And what they do is they're kind of just the... Uh, uh, relayer of a lot of messages for you know the community to Zenimax and I really think a lot of games could benefit from this some other games may have it we just don't know about it but I play a lot of different games here on the channel as you guys know and I look at a lot of the games I play and I think man we could really benefit from some community managers or community players people that you know that, that, that play the game that can kind of relay a lot of the info from the community from their streams from their YouTube videos uh, to the developers to kind of give them some ideas of what the community wants. And like I said, the Elder Scrolls Online and Max have done a really good job with that. And I've heard a lot of the community, uh, you know, class reps kind of talking about uh, the they, they're kind of glad that there's not, you know, a new class br being brought into the game. And I, like I said, I will agree. Uh, I think it's probably going to be a couple more years before we get a new class. One thing is, of course, they're kind of changing out these mega servers. I, I think one thing for stability is always good because as we know, some of the classes we have now, some of the abilities these classes have cause a lot of issues in, in PVE and in PVP with a lot of different things going out at one time when it comes to casting abilities, so it causes lag. So I think these mega server change, changes, if they do work as they're supposed to, I think that will help with being able to add new classes in the future. Also, the new CP changes. I think that is one of the biggest things. I think that the CP needed to be fixed before new classes were added in. Now, we've had some different systems over time. We've had a point where there was no cap on CP. Uh, we had a point where there was no CP at all, and I think it was called Vet Ranks. I cannot remember. Uh, you'll have to correct me in, in, in the comments if that was not right. I started playing around uh, early uh, into the game's life cycle on console. But not long after I started playing, they changed over to the CP idea. So, you know, the champion point system. But the champion point system has been around for several years now. They have upped it and upped it. And uh, now they've decided to kind of revamp the champion point system. And I think it will help for balance overall. I think they need to balance the classes that we have now before they start adding in new classes. Because in my opinion, we'll have the same situation we've had over the last several years. Where a new class comes out, it seems to be the strongest. Everything else seems to be weaker. And then it kind of just gets tweaked from there. And there's still a lot of classes within the game that are not really viable all the time. Or not viable at all. And people aren't really happy with that. They want to be able to use all the different classes we have. So, so I think the CP changes are probably one of the biggest reasons we're not getting a class this year. Because they're trying to fix the way CP works before they add a new class in. Like I said, this is going to allow, between just the mega server changes, in my opinion, and the new, uh, you know, kind of CP changes, this is going to allow for a lot of balancing and fixing for when another class is released. And really, my thoughts are probably even new class races uh, eventually. We'll probably have some new races of characters, so we'll have new classes and races, hopefully, in, in the future. And I'm hoping all of these things that they're doing right now, these back-end fixes, these stability improvements, all the things are doing with 
this whole uh, this whole year, you know, with Blackwood. I'm hoping these things will allow them to improve the game enough to where we have the ability to get new classes, new races in in the future. And they will be able to perform a lot better than the ones have in the past. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.